uncanny Scott. Oh no, he went there and I love him for it. I am the canny, I'm fully canny today. Fully. Brett Parker. What is, what is canny? I don't know. It can be believed. So when I think of uncanny, I always think of the X-Men, but when I think of canny, I think of like people jarring stuff. Like I do. Like pickled beets. And I went to high school with a Jennifer canny. Say hello to her. Hello, Jennifer. We're going to tag you because we're Facebook friends, too. Um, anyway, wow. I'm just, I just, I'm happy you're here. That's all I'm saying. I was thought I was going to be alone, and now I'm not alone. He had my back. And you can't sing the alone song anymore. Nope. Even though that is one of my favorite songs, Alone by Heart. Por favor, manténgase alejado de las puertas. Please be aware of the closing doors. <laughs> um, okay. So, wow, that was the longest intro ever, but I loved it. Uh, we are here to do a DM cast. An uncanny. Yes! DM cast. I got a box of stuff, but I'm going to save that for after. Um, Scott, do your picks, please. All right, for those of you who don't like to read the, the classics, we have Deadpool Illustrated. It's kind of like Cliff Notes, but in a comic format. Not at all. Because Deadpool's in it. He doesn't appear in... He's inserted in classics. He jumps into classics. Last issue was Moby Dick. Now he's jumping into The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. I like to call him Sam. That's not his, yeah, because Mark Twain is not his real name. Spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, it, it, go paint a fence. This is, this is, go, go paint, paint a fence, Tom Sawyer. Go paint a fence. Um, my second pick would be The Legend of Luther Strode. It's just mindless violence and guy getting punched in the face. And Faces like, exploding. Exploding, brains all over the place. Uh, guys getting punched in the gut, like through the gut. Not in the gut, through the gut. Because why, why stop? Yeah. That's and what it's I just say. like Luther Strode was, was, was a, a meek nerd, and then he read the little, the, the little, the little things. Little Atlas book, the and like, thing. became a monster. He's mm -hmm. just savage. Right and wrongs in a harsh way. And then uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for, you know, like the teenage superheroes ever since, uh, since Dark Hawk. And we got uh, Avengers Arena, which pits a bunch of the pretty brutal teenage superheroes all together. Did you hear about the uh, petition to nullify this whole book because people were so upset the characters were getting killed? I honestly think it might be like, oh, you've been jacked into the Matrix, you've passed the test. I don't know. Because they're just doing stuff in that that's like, really? They killed that guy? They killed the metal. The first it's issue. five, so I can tell Right, you. yeah, that's yeah, long so past the statue of limitations. Statue. Statue. Statue, okay. Um, I'm a perfect segue, thank you. Deathmatch, very similar in the group thrown together, uh, forced to fight, last one standing, last man standing, or woman standing. Could happen. Oh, don't. Mm. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, I'm, as you guys know, uh, I've been talking about this, uh, for a long time now. Um, this is issue three. Can't wait to see what's going on. Who, uh, who fights who, who wins, who dies. I don't know. I just love it. But I'm kind of bummed because they created this awesome universe and it's going to be all done. But, or not. I don't think it'd be kind of late if they went back. And... They could do one shot. I don't know. Prequels or anything. I don't know. Um. Because everybody loves prequels. Yes. More mainstream, Guardians of the Galaxy number one, soon to be a household name, thanks to the Marvel movie treatment, but most of you already know about it. Um, Brian Michael Bendis and Steve McNiven, hi. The name sounds familiar. This is his only his second title that he's ever worked on. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're giving him a break. Um, beautiful art, great storytelling, Guardians of the Galaxy, get acquainted. Peter, um, Peter Quill, a little story about how he gets yeah. started in Star Lord. Ooh, they haven't cast him yet, have they? Or have they? They have. It's the guy from Parks and Rec. Oh. I don't watch that show, but I, don't I just know he's okay. the guy from Parks and Rec. I don't know his name. Sorry, dude. Um, I will ask him when he comes over. I'll know you. Batman Inc. 8. What happens? Something's going to happen in this. I can't. I, I can't. I mean, if you've, if you the spoilers have been online. Do you guys follow the internet? New York Times. Yeah, oh, thanks for that yesterday at, like, 5 a.m. Uh, but anyway, um, speaking of the New York Times, did you see that ad for Game of Thrones? No, the little trailer? No, there's an ad in the oh. New York Times. It's a two-page spread, 
and I, I don't know if it's real articles or not, but there's the real articles. Oh, oh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Just uh, you know, thank you. So much. <laughs> um, going back to the Game of Thrones ad is a two-page spread. A little mention of the Game of Thrones in the bottom right-hand corner, but it's in like a silhouette of a dragon across the two pages. You don't know, it could be real articles that it's covering up, you know, it, but you can actually read the articles and everything. That's really kind of cool. Yeah. Wow. And you'd think that they wouldn't even bother advertising, because who doesn't know about Game of Thrones? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I don't my grandmother knows, but yeah. she is. Look, figures. I have figures. We have the Ultimate Spider-Man line. We actually have bigger ones, too, but I didn't bring those. Um, and Nova's available in the big version. Uh, everyone loves Nova. And, um, oh, just for the record, there's also a Venom. I didn't grab him for some reason. We got one. He's short-packed. Good luck. Spider Swat Venom. May the, may the best man win, because he won't last. He's a very awesome-looking figure. Um, we got some more pulp, 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 pop vinyls. Uh, Deadpool. Beast. Beast. Who I love. I love him. Little, little fangs. fangs. He looks like he's AKE. And Ghost Rider. Fan or not. I am a fan, but fan or not, that is an awesome little ball Just guy. don't stare into his eyes. Nope. And speaking of Nova, here's the Marvel Universe figure. Again, Marvel Universe. Good luck. Get here quick. We got Puck. Puck. And he's full price. He's full price. Uh oh. Well, that's because he comes with the... <laughs> he comes with a bird. The bird. He comes with Snowbird. Um, and the heavy figure in the box with the World War Hulk in his gladiator armor. Honestly, I can't tell. Oh, that just that just sold out. I, I, I can't even talk about it. Now. But, well, I, what I was gonna say is it sold so quick the first time, or it didn't. I don't remember, but it, I I don't remember if it's a restock or not. Do you remember? Have we ever had that before? What? And what? Never. This. This. <laughs> You're hiding oh, a figure oh, on me. Okay. I wanted it for myself, but no, I will put it out for. for the we have two. We have two of everybody. And I know I'm gonna get the phone calls. Can you put aside a puck for me? Um, what else? What else we got? What else? Ah. Oh, the reason why it is an uncanny DM cast is because we have a few, just a few uncanny comics coming. Yeah. Out. We have uncanny Avengers, uncanny X Force, uncanny X Men, and, and finally the best one, the uncanny Skull Kickers. Uncanny Skull Kickers. Number one again. But it's ah. in the 19 or something like that. Our 19. Phantom variant is awesome. It's a throwback to the old Dungeon Master's Guide. You'll know it when you see it. It's awesome. That's our Phantom variant. So we got four, four uncanny, uncanny books. Which, there's just not enough uncanny, no. uh, uncanny-isms. Someone should have capitalized on that better. This should be a book called Uncanny. This should. And just dudes open up jars. Uncanny. It's spilling it on. I don't know. What are you guys doing? We never engage them. No, we should have like a call in. We should. Like a, full, like a special phone number that we can call in. Leave call her. Leave messages. Boop. We should. Let's do that. Because it couldn't obviously couldn't be live, but all right. You call in. Leave a message. We'll play it over the air, and we'll. Is it over the air? Over the web. Over there. We can read it. I mean, like yeah. they do a, a Talking Dead show. Oh, that's true. That's after that Walking Dead show. I've never seen that. Which way? Don't. This week. Was I don't want to argue with you. No. I, I mean, I, I want to see zombies. Like, I know. I want to see killing and things like that. Yeah. I don't want to see, if I want to watch drama, I'll turn on Lifetime. Wow. Oh my god. You, that, we can't end on that note. Well, how do you want to end? We can't end on that note. Um, big things. Chris, see, Chris, Chris always does like, hey, we got big things, and then he rattles them off. And I go, oh yeah, we're doing that. Um, well, we did announce something, um, this past weekend, um, for the Magic people. Yes, yes. It's just a little tiny, little thing so we got going not on. Not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I know, it really is a big deal. It's a um, huge deal. We are having a Pro Tour qualifier. What is that? What is that? It's a called PTQ. A PTQ. A PTQ. A PTQ. We're going to have it at the Radisson on June 30th. Mm -hmm. This is a Sunday, and the winner of this event, this is, this is, just blows my mind. The winner of this event gets free round-trip tickets 
to play in the Pro Tour in Ireland. Ireland! Yeah. Not yeah. like, you know, you yep. have tickets to, like, Hey, you know, you're going to Wisconsin. Connecticut. Yeah, you're going to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> no, you're going to Ireland. So get your passports ready. Yeah. Get your decks ready. That's a good point. Get your passports ready, because you don't know. If you're if you're going to come, you better have a nice active passport. Like, I don't, we're not going to send you to the airport right after the... the no, event, so but still, just have it ready. You don't want to... Passports do take a little while yeah. to get going. Yeah, yeah they you, do. You put a rush fee on it and everything. I want to get a passport. I don't have a passport. I want to get one now. I have... I've used it once. I've never been out of this country, except no, to Canada. I don't Canada. think they allow you out of this country. That got lifted. Yeah. I am now allowed to. So, yeah. PTQ. June 30th. I mean, how... Radisson. You know why? Because we can't fit y'all here. Because it's going to be big. We're we got 120 have... people for pre-release. You imagine yeah. how we're going to get for PTQ? Yeah. We're gonna with, have... with that for a prize? There's going to be vendors set up there. Um, it's pretty much an all-day affair. And th this is this was huge. Yep. I, I can't wait for this thing. Yep. Ben. June, June 30th. Is, ben, is, ben, oh, ben, ben is just beside himself with happy. Yeah. Ben's head so. exploded when he, when he saw this. We love Ben. I love everybody but Ben. 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 Ben's good stuff. But Ben? But. Stop. You said you love everybody but Ben. No. Why would you? Would you replay this? Delete. Ben, cut, delete ben, that part. Ben, just rewind it and yeah. really hear what he what he really you know said. I said I love everyone, but Ben is good stuff. Oh, okay. You. Oh. Now I love you, everyone. You, you changed but the ben, emphasis. Now. Yeah. yeah. I know how that sounded now. Yeah. You All right. The comma in there. School vacation week. Yay! If you have the week off, come hang out with us. He I'll says us. Do you mean me? <laughs> yeah. well, I'll be here every, tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe Thursday if you're lucky. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, I guess that's about all everything. <laughs>